technology has taken over the world now and as the technology advances electronic waste has been increasing day by day what do we do with this waste where is this waste getting accumulated we kalam as a team is now on a mission to make use of this e waste and convert them to beautiful pots and vases here is our story uh, myself uh, antony francis rajan i am from uh, ernakulam kerala i have completed my masters in engineering uh, abroad it is in italy I have working since 2015 or 16 uh, in Italy. I have gained uh, two or three years experience in some uh, multinational companies. During my uh, working, uh, I have uh, research in additive manufacturing. It's, it's called 3D printing. And then um, I bought for my first 3D printer uh, from China, directly from China. Then I I started researching on that 3D printing uh, on uh, 2015 onwards. Uh, then i faces a lot of uh, difficulties for trying to improve the product uh, when i am studying uh, about in 3d printing while i am working i need a, a few fund for raise my capital for uh, uh, com- our company i need uh, some works in abroad then i find a uh, good companies and then i working since uh, two years uh, to gain our company money to raise the fund uh, then i slowly started to grow this building and buying some machines uh, during that time i am very weak in marketing i am good in technical knowledge so for designing and uh, the other uh, parameters some uh, technical parameters i know, i know how to implement how to uh, input the parameters in 3d printing so i need to find a partner for marketing i don't know how to convince uh, a people uh, to buy this product I'm, and also I am very uh, enthusiastic or uh, hobby like to make uh, some 3D printed products. You know everyone know the 3D printing uh, make a future. So then finally I got Sabin to uh, introduce into the market. So we introduced the brand name called Kalam. From the beginning onwards we fa- face a lot of difficulties. I, d- I don't know how to market uh, but he know how to market everything. Uh, how to implement, how to uh, get the customer retention. Uh, he know very well so in product point of view i try to improve the products and the painting everything management everything i try to improve then sabin will do everything like for marketing the customer point of view uh, this is the, our brand name kalam kalam makes a, a huge opportunity for uh, i mean buyers for 3d print, 3d port buyers and also it give a good retention for the customers to uh, gain a good experience Hi, uh, my name is uh, Sabin Thomas. Uh, I am from Ernagulam, uh, Kerala. Uh, so as uh, Anthony suggested, uh, it was a very long uh, journey for us till now. Uh, it was not so easy uh, when it comes to uh, trying out a new product in the market and uh, giving that product or taking visibility for that product. Uh, as per it's a niche market when it compares to uh, pots, when it compares to uh, whatever products uh, we have. So uh, it was not uh, an easy journey for us. So uh, as Anthony suggested, uh, it was him, uh, the main mastermind uh, behind this product. Uh, he has been doing a lot of research like two to three years back uh, for this product. So he approached me for a marketing perspective. Uh, when it comes to my bi- background, I have completed my MPA and currently I'm working with an MNC. Um, uh, but I was really into really passionate about marketing i wanted to do something from my end uh, so as a startup it was very challenging for me as well to uh, take this product to market and uh, uh, we were we, we didn't have much of a clue how this is going to work uh, but uh, anthony uh, that product that anthony made has a lot of potential especially it's 3d printing it's one of the uh, most uh, innovation which is coming onto uh, the world currently uh, so uh, I believe I had r- read about 3D printing in my school days and my past. So I had an idea about this. So he came mm, to me with the product. I was really uh, surprised with the way of uh, product that he has made. He had made uh, actually a couple of products like toys and uh, planters and different stuff. So we had to uh, we had to finalize on one of the product which had a lot of potential and we were thinking in a way it should be futuristic as well. So uh, we had we were looking for a long term business, not only uh, like two two to five years uh, uh, time gap. We we are, we are not looking for that. So uh, uh, at that point of time, Corona came. Uh, it was a huge plus for us. Uh, the markets were shut down. We had ample time to uh, know what product to 
uh, introduced to the market so we when uh, corona came people were stuck in their homes they were stuck and they were uh, uh, managing their homes at their own time they were uh, uh, sealed under a roof so they were not going out they they don't know what to do what to uh, where to go nothing was there it was fully locked down so people uh, uh, came like they were engaging themselves in their home they started planting uh, uh, small small plants uh, they were uh, buying pets and taking care of them so it was uh, so at that point of time we thought like why why don't we uh, finalize on a planter point of view uh, so we came to a conclusion like 3d printed pots uh, we had a lot of uh, potential for that at that point of time. So that is how the journey uh, started. So when Anthony came uh, to me with that product, it was really interesting for me. Uh, so it was challenging as well uh, for me to uh, take up one new product and go to the market and uh, acquire the customers that we have. So uh, the most attractive point that which I liked was uh, the product was really eco-friendly. Uh, so Anthony and I myself had uh, discussed a lot of things uh, on the background and we did uh, thought of like uh, collecting scrap. Why don't we collect scrap uh, from different places, especially e-waste, uh, say for example the keyboards, the mouse. Uh, we are basically using ABS material so we thought like why don't we collect those scraps which is unnecessary uh, in our area and uh, find a vendor and uh, make that to raw, raw material and why don't we produce uh, that products to and uh, to take an output for our planters so we did that uh, it was really interesting it is challenging as well we took around like uh, three to six months for that we found a vendor who had agreed us to uh, take up the scrap and produce this raw materials in the granule uh, point of way. So uh, we did that and it made us really happy as well because we are making product which is really eco-friendly uh, to the nature and uh, the, the products, uh, we are not making new plastic. Uh, whichever plastic is available around us, we are taking that, we are, uh, uh, what do you say, recycling it and making a new product. So we are not making new plastic to this uh, environment. So that was really interesting. And we started very slowly, uh, we started like uh, one to two printers, uh, we had just two printers in our hand, uh, we did a uh, lot of trial and error methods, uh, we were confused uh, what paint to use, uh, does, every paint does not work in this planters, uh, we did try with acrylic, we did try, try with other, other colors as well, then we found out it is automotive paints which is very good for our planters. So uh, we did that, we made like 5 to 10 products, uh, we gave uh, it to few of, few of our shops in a local area. Uh, it, was, it was a fabulous response from the people, uh, we were getting really good responses uh, and people were telling like they haven't seen these designs anywhere. So that's the beauty of 3D printing, we can make any complex materials uh, into product and uh, it was really, really, uh, the response was very good, uh, within two days the, uh, the the shop guy called us and they told us like uh, the products are moving really well why don't you guys expand so we had uh, really good challenges we had to expand uh, and also uh, our family was not initially in much of a supportive at that point of time uh, both our families so uh, we discussed with them we had to raise funds we had to raise initial capitals so we took small small bit of uh, loans from the banks and we uh, took the printers like five to six printers and it was really good journey and we slowly slowly slow and steady we uh, moved the ship uh, and it was really really um, what you say the response was really good one of the U USBs of Kalam is the uh, product design itself it's very unique it's very uh, beautifully uh, designed uh, any complex pieces can be made then we set a bro brochure we have uh, around 100 designs now uh, and also the painting the painting part when it comes to it, it is like it's hand painting uh, uh, we can mix any color any any designs can be done uh, whichever products are available in the market is like it's not uh, customized say for example they have a design uh, they'll have one paint to it say for example if you have a 8, eight inch pot uh, and it, the, the, uh, the paint will be fixed but for column it's it is customized if you want one design if you want black red whichever it may be we can hand paint it for you it's hand painting it's not machine made so and also uh, it's very much eco friendly uh, that's what attracted Kalam the most and uh, we are looking for uh, our market has been captured in Kerala almost we have been very good uh, we have around 13 to 15 printers now we have a production capacity of 1000 to 2000 pieces per now so it, it's not it might be not be a 
very big thing when it comes to an industry but it is by we move very slowly by step by step it it means really really uh, big for us uh, starting from two printers and cu currently we have we are having 12 to 15 printers so the journey was uh, beautiful so we are uh, moving looking to go outside kerala as well uh, we are looking for uh, pro marketing products outside Kerala and also outside India as well. We want our products to be known uh, uh, really well because it's very uh, eco-friendly products. So we need our products to be uh, at every home, uh, every people should have at least one 3D printed pots. That's our motto. And not only buying products from us, it's very much eco-friendly as well. So that's our prime motto is. So uh, Kalam as a brand, uh, we are looking uh, to make a healthier, uh, a beautiful earth. So we, we would need all of your all of your support for that. And uh, let's do uh, whatever that we can do for this mother earth. Thank you. As the Sabin said before, uh, the, we, we are cutting our scrap. We are cutting the scrap, and we do sell uh, to vendors in Tamil Nadu. Then uh, we cut, we are collecting the granules, the granules. This is the granules we are uh, doing. Okay, we are buying from granules. Then uh, after we bought granules from Tamil Nadu, uh, there are two three steps for uh, the process. The first step is uh, dehydration. The granules we are buying, uh, there is water molecules in there. So we have to eliminate the water molecules uh, from the granules. So we are doing dehydration. This is the dehydration. Uh, we do dehydration up to 70 degree uh, Celsius, up to 6, six or 7 hours. Then uh, after that uh, we put the granules. This, this is the scooter machine. We put the uh, granules in the scooter machine. Uh, then uh, that's why we are giving some specific temperature for a scooter machine for this type of granules. It's uh, almost 200 degree Celsius. Then uh, when, when the uh, uh, scooter the plastic granules melted and fused and it's going uh, uh, solid the face when it uh, comes in uh, contact with the water. Then it goes uh, from roller to roller. Then in this this roller will Pulling uh, these filaments. So, as Anthony said, uh, we will be converting our granules uh, to filaments. So, if you look at in market, the filaments are uh, will be available. Uh, but for Kalam, our main uh, USB is that extruder machine that Anthony has explained uh, earlier for you. So, that is our main USB. Uh, I, we believe, as per our studies in India, it's like only two, three places, places only this extruder machine is available. Uh, we had uh, imported directly from China three years back. So this is our main USB and we are making uh, filaments with, with that. And this filaments, uh, we will be fixing it uh, to the 3D printer. And as you can see here, uh, there are certain codes uh, written over here. Uh, for each uh, product or each design, we have converted uh, that codes to uh, our SD, micro SD card. There is a my micro SD chip over here. So as we take some uh, photos, uh, in photos when we take it's in JPG format, right? Uh, when it comes to 3D printing, it's it's called STL format. So we convert, we make our designs, uh, we design our planters and we uh, take those to the SD card and we, we'll just put it onto this and we'll just take, click the button as start. We're using enter printers and as you can see, the printing is going on here. Uh, this is a 5 inch pot, uh, it's slowly, slowly, slowly. Uh, result, uh, revolves around and the product is made. So uh, when it comes to production, it's a very time consuming product. Say for example, for one inch, it takes around one hour. For eight inch pot, it takes around eight hours. Just imagine, it's like uh, 12 uh, a.m. at the night when you're putting one product and the morning when we are having breakfast, only one product is coming out. And we are giving it for the best price that you can get anywhere in India. So that's basically how the production part is uh, for color.